We designed the sound of a missile striking a target and exploding it and inserted it into the sweetest, most beautiful song on our recent album, Something More Is Here. I'm going to show you how we did this and why we did this. Welcome to another episode where we go under the hood to look at the nuanced techniques of Chords of a Man music. I'm Matthew David Fritz. This will start a new series of under the hood series episodes where we are not focusing so much on theory and technique musically, but I'm going to focus on a project that I undertook for our last album release, Something More Is Here. On this album, on every song, I tried to use sound design or field recordings to enhance the song and provide effects that we've never used before to draw out certain emotions, certain facets of the song, and use prosody in the song to bring attention to certain things that we're talking about. So the first thing is, uh, I mentioned in the introduction that we used a missile exploding into a target and inserted that sound into a sweet song at the very end for its climax. I uh, didn't use an actual missile, but I designed it in the shop here. I'm gonna show you how we designed it because it is fun. So just like baking a, a cake, you need certain ingredients. Uh, the ingredients for this missile strike is my, uh, my uh, drum here, my handy uh, snare drum, an open head tambourine, a cup full of screws and a chain. I wanted to get this boomy sound from the uh, missile strike that you hear in the background where it explodes and it's a, just a loud, deep boom. So I thought this is my best shot at doing it. It's going to take some manipulation, but we start by recording the snare drum. So the other thing I need is a tambourine. Let's record the crash, what I call like a crash cymbal sound, but we'll record it using the tambourine. Okay, that was good enough. Doesn't take much. Now, the fun part, we're gonna use the screws and the chain, and I'm gonna show you how I use these to make that explosive shrapnel sound where things just fly everywhere, broken car parts flying in the air and landing on the streets. Uh, so we're going to use this and we're going to use that on various surfaces and we'll put those together as well. So now you're looking at my computer screen and I put together the raw ingredients. I have the snare beater side, the snare resonator side, crash tambourine, the crash screws on the stove in blue, and then the crash screws and the chain on the concrete floor in green. So these are the raw components. So we'll play through these. first thing we need to do is let's go to the deep tones of that snare. I'm going to reverse this. So uh, let's do reverse items. Take. So now what I have here is two forwards and two backwards. Okay. I'm going to take the two backwards I'm just going to snap them in place right there. Okay, so you can hear. You got that resonant tone leading up to the boom. All right. Now the other thing is, I want to do a little bit of stretching, so I'm going to stretch this sound out uh, about 70%. Okay, and uh, if you'll notice, it's starting to sound like 
a kind of like a streaking of a missile in the sky. Okay, and then this boom, it's really short. So again, I'm going to stretch that out. Uh, let's make that again about well let's go with about half about 50% of that okay maybe that's a little bit too much I'm gonna bring it in maybe 69% right, that's not bad you get to hear like some of that echoey sound that happens after an explosion they're a little bit too high pitch this is on top. So now I'm going to work with the EQ settings to pitch these properly. What I did was I actually preset this so you don't have to see how it goes. But okay. That was the higher one. And this is the lower one. And when you come together... This is what you get. Okay. That almost could do it by itself right there, but we want to add the other parts. So again, let's add the crash tambourine. And let's add the screws. And I put these left and right. The different mics are, are oriented left and right for stereo effects. And same thing over here with these screws, left and right. And let's put the effects on. And I also added some reverb to make it kind of like echoing through the canyon. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds really cool. Now let's listen to it in context of the song. Okay, so there you have it. That is how we created that missile strike effect for the song, A Threefold Chord. Check it out. It's available everywhere. And uh, get the album too because there's a lot more treats coming up. I'm going to bring you into the mix kitchen and show you how we designed a lot more sounds for a lot of these songs. So it's going to be fun. Stay tuned to next time and take care. We'll see you later.